I'm at a young MA show. I'm supposed to be acting in a video and I brought my camera. I'm like, shit, I'm about to make something. Like, <laughs> I'm about to do something and make some kind of content. I'm going to tag her a hundred times in a video. Like, you Did know, that work? No. <laughs> It's my pleasure to welcome in legendary English actor. It's Idris Elba on the pod. Hey, bro. Welcome right to now. the pod, bro. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was a good one. Here he is. That's a, that's like a nice mad compliment. I think he won like, yeah, sexiest man was, of the year. I was just watching a movie with him in it last night. Yeah. You're a lot uglier, I'm not you're a lot uglier than him for sure. <laughs> yeah, we're starting nah, hot. In all seriousness, we have one of It's Just Us's IJU's finest. We have a producer, director, overall creative. We got Caleb Jermail in the house. Caleb. You. And we got a one more time podcast alumni, Surf, another member yeah. of the IJU collective in the building. We brought him yeah, out of boy, retirement to be our production pod. assistant for this. Yeah, episode. he actually did just get us some water. So shout out to Surf. <laughs> So we talked about this on a, on a podcast recently where uh, me and Henry discuss our top three uh, members to add to your team initially as an independent artist, right? So if mm -hmm. I'm a rapper, I'm starting out, who are the top three people I want to build out with my team? We, we, you know, we picked producer, engineer, and then we picked basically like videographer, visual mm. artist, content creator, production guy. Guy right? to hold the iPhone so, while you do your thing. Yeah, yeah, or you know, or just be that kind of visual mm. creative with you like, yeah. you know, as, as as you know, as part of your team. Where do you feel that someone like you ranks on like an artist team? In reality or like <laughs> no, that's or amazing. Like, no, let's let In let's, reality, let's, like how how it is normally or how sure, should, like, how should both. Let's get both. So yeah, yeah let's get the brutal, say, honest reality. We're first. hanging out. Let's In reality, it. like last. They are no, I won't even say last necessarily. Probably damn near close to it, but <laughs> it's definitely something that is viewed as important but isn't really, you know, looked upon as you know. As valuable as, as maybe. valuable as it is. Yeah. Necessarily. Oh my like, God, it's so valuable. Because. It's yeah, everything. Literally, like, that's how people, that's how you're translating all your music. That's how you're, you know. That's how you're telling you're, the story. Yeah, you're telling the story. That's how people see you, like, you know. Yeah. And we just live in an age where video, everyone's consuming videos yeah, of shit all the time. Like, so if you want to pop, it's like, how are people going to see you in your videos? Mm -hmm. So in your opinion. Mm -hmm. Where do you think it should rank, right? If I'm an artist, if I get to start building out my team, like, am, are you the first type of person that should be on their team? Second, third, like, you know, where are I you I mean, definitely yourself? not the first, especially with an artist. Like, music and the music team is the most important. But right after the music, like, you, like it's definitely you. once your music is down, like, your visuals have to be up to par right? yeah. with your music. Like, if you have five music and you're dropping, like, just horrible content, like, Especially in this day and age, that's literally we're on our phones twenty four seven. Like when people first wake up and get out their bed, they're opening their phone. Like if you're posting trash, like they don't want to see that. God, I'm so guilty of that. Do you wake up and start scrolling immediately? I've tried to do like a thirty minute rule. I I don't do it. I break it all the time. It's so <laughs> annoying, bro. <laughs> and like before you go to sleep too, it's bad to just be like. I used to like fall asleep to videos. And I, shit. Do yeah. videos. I do it. Yeah, videos. I do it a lot on both ends like, of the spectrum. Uh, yeah, I talk to people like they don't even. A lot of people aren't even interested in like that kind of video work or like they just look at it as something. I don't know. I think artists look at it like they see it as something they need. Like it's just like, oh, it's there. Like, I, you know, I need, need a video. I need a picture. So they're like, like, they, don't, they evil. don't necessarily appreciate the art or the craft or mm -hmm. what people are doing to bring that stuff to life. They just see the finished product and are like, yeah, that's hard. They're they're like checking a box. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's but, a box. Like, yeah, where my video, where my picture, I got it. That's yeah, okay, so but, dumb. But just to play devil's advocate, like, no, we yeah, don't want that. It's great to like want to put your all into every piece of creative that you have, but it's an era where, bro, you got to have quantity. You can't just make like the greatest piece of content ever. Yeah. Post it once, and then if it flops, then like you got to start over. Yeah, you got to go, man. You got to be posting all the time. You got to be engaged with your fans. Yeah, and that's at some point you got to sacrifice quality, like a little bit, right? Um, not necessarily, especially like it depends. I guess you could say if I spent a little more time on like certain videos, definitely like the quality. I feel like that's where I'm at right now. Like 
I'm really more so focused on quality and like putting my all and my effort to whatever I'm working on. Yeah, but if so. you're an independent artist, I think what mm -hmm. Henry's trying to say is like, look, music videos are different. Like, okay. but but it's are also you talking about like a like a recap video or something like just that? posting or, anything. Like yeah, people yeah. can see who you. Yeah, are. they definitely want it quick. Like right at like they need it like probably within a few hours after yeah. whatever they just did. Cause, and then I need the next one. Because if you're posting a video from an event that was like two days ago, it's not even going to receive that much traction because it's the new. Something yeah. New is already On to the next. I feel mm -hmm. like, unfortunately, most artists, if they could get by without posting any content, Ever. They would. They, they would, would just sure. not post any. Yeah, it's something like people. And I respect content. that. Mm -hmm. I respect that. I I think the ones that are winning are the ones that it comes naturally to. Uh, once again, as a general observation, there's mm -hmm. clearly ones that you know don't want to do it, and they just do it, and the music's so fire, and their personality is so great that whatever. Mm -hmm. But as a general observation of mine, I would say that the ones that are breaking through it seems natural to them to be content creators as much as they are artists. Yeah. No, for sure. And that's, I mean, I, I sometimes hate it for them. You know, I, I wish that it could just yeah, be, that shit is you just lot. do the music. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's nonstop. I mean, Jesus, we're trying to post two times a day and it's fucking grueling. Shout out to Henry for keeping us, keeping us rolling. <laughs> There's but, an alternate timeline out there where just the people that make the absolute best music Breakthrough, and that would be nice to live in. Wouldn't yeah, it? that was like that was like the nineteen eighties. I think that was the timeline, yeah, Henry. like where the music was just speaking for itself. It's just whoever had the best music won, and yeah. as good as your music, like the better when your music was. Yeah, the now the arguments are like, but the videos, like or like you know, they thinking about like looks and everything. Like yep. it's a lot more the politics. Goes it. I yeah, mean, it's everything politics. goes into it. Mm -hmm. For people that might not know, maybe like a quick background on what it's just us is and how long it's been a thing and how yeah. just to cement your place in history here. So we came up with it in 2015. We was like in like 10th grade or something, and we were just you know in high school. We went to a small school. It was kind of like you know we was just doing what kids do and stuff and like everybody all their all their lunch tables like or groups of friends they just had different names for themselves and stuff it was like bro we need to come up with some my bro johnny he and ije too um johnny raw right yeah johnny raw yeah, yeah shout out johnny director yeah he's hard um like he came up with a chief mob name like we were trying to chief mob <laughs> Cause we be smoking weed, y'all. I don't know, bro. We was just coming up, bro. Just corny shit, bro. Like we just oh, was yeah. coming up with shit, and we just said, "Fuck it." It's just us, like we, so. Like we just was like, "It's just us." Like it's kind of like a we literally was a shrug thing. Like you know, it just it's just us. Going to leave it at that. Like, yeah. Did you just say it and then someone was like, "Aha!" No, I don't. That's I honestly, it. Like, I, don't, it I can't like even remember who said resort, that. Shit, honestly, kinda. like it sounds like you just gave up and like we're like, no, that. Oh God. Yeah, bro. Some whoever said that shit, we was just like, yeah, all right. Nice. Okay, we just like kind of went with it, and you know what? Tenth grade, we just we kids, we growing up and stuff, and so it clearly meant nothing at that point, really. Yeah, so it was kind of just. What does a, it mean today, though? Today, because like, yeah, you know, it was kind of a last resort to your point, but yeah. like, it sounded cool. Yeah, y'all like, had no other ideas. Clearly, yeah. you like and ran like, out. As, you know, as we grown into our, our crafts and stuff like that, like what I was like, I would just, you know, I knew I wanted to do something really important, and I didn't really know. Like, I used to like the, I used to want to play football and stuff, and then like I got into like photography, and then twelfth grade year I got in a video, and I kind of just was like, I know that I want to um, do something important with you know my craft and stuff, and. We came up with the It's Just Us thing, and we would say it here and there, and, like, you know, we stuck with it, but we weren't really putting, you know, any, like, weren't thinking too deep into there it. There was no merch yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, like, as we've gotten older and, like, you know, even just going through college and life in general, it's just, like, we want to do and create, like, authentically, like, just, you know, for face value, not any, like, you know, hidden agendas and stuff like that. And, like, a lot of that, there's not a lot of... The, like authenticity in the media today. So yeah, Very true. no, I, I, I definitely love the, I love that some last resort idea evolved into something that actually applied to what it is that y'all thought, you know what I mean? And, and how you a, approach things, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When you use our crafts, it's just basically like show people, you know, like you can be yourself. Like you don't have to look at something and feel like you have to warp into or follow somebody like yeah, that's that's tough though, man. We live in a in a day and age where it's like 
it's tough to have the blinders on, yeah. right? And to only focus on what you got going on. I mean, we struggle with this shit all the time as mm. far as like success modeling. Yo, what are other podcasts doing? Like, should our clips look like this? Should our Their interviews be this? And the social media this. just enhances that time. Like that's, oh, it does. it's almost kind of natural to fuck. see something that like you and, are inspired by and want to, you know, aim to get to that. And social media just blasts that shit times a million. So. Yeah, it's it's interesting because I do flirt with it as far as inspiration, mm -hmm. right? It's like we no, do. It's definitely okay to be inspired. And yeah, stuff, but you can't let it. You can't like let it. You know, value it too much. Like you have to still understand that. You, yeah, whatever you're trying to do, you have to, it has to come from you type of thing. So yeah, I think the biggest thing we've learned, and I'm sure you've started to you know appreciate this as as you've been doing this for you know years at this point, is that the most important thing I would say, and even like artists like Surf is like mm -hmm. you got to make the art or you got to do the work that is gonna be enjoyable for a long period of time. Because if you do fall victim to like oh they're doing this thing mm -hmm. and you don't really <laughs> want to do it. Get burned out. You're gonna. You can't Bro, do that shit I for know. that long. Yeah, I don't yeah. burned out a few times. Like, yeah, that shit, that shit get there. Like I would say. So let me. T I'd probably say, I was just doing like you know I was just doing videos in college. Just literally like a thirty to forty, um, thirty to forty video series of me in college. Like like vlog style. Yeah, I was really? just vlogging myself in college every day. Like what, like, right. like what were you doing? Vlog. Going to college, living yeah. life, baby. Yeah, bro. Like I was Doing just having up. fun. Like every like every set of videos, I was just learning so much about video. That was like right after I took that video class. So I was really just like getting going all in, like trying new shit, doing shit I seen before, like just trying new shit and like really finding my style. Like like I look back at that moment, a time period, like I really like was like crafting my style during that time period by just like picking up a camera and like just. Fucking, I'm filming whatever the fuck I'm doing today. Is that your biggest advice to people who want to get started doing, you know, video work? Is yeah, to literally, just pick I, up I tell people that like every time I'm like, start. Bro, just get a. You have a phone, bro. Like, you just use your phone. Yeah. I still po I've posted videos recently using my phone, bro. Some of your hardest like concert footage my that I saw video, recently, Cardi concert, um, the whole lot of red shit. Yeah, yeah, play that with was my Cardi. Favorite, one of my favorite videos ever, and I shot it on iPhone. Yeah. I, I feel like there's no excuse to start dabbling at least with it, right? Yeah. If, you know, yeah. if you want to get more serious, you know, you level up, you get mm -hmm. a different camera, whatever. Mm -hmm. But to really just start creating, there's, there's no, no excuse. excuse. Should, like, we, should we spill the beans? Let's spill them. This podcast is shot on iPhones. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know what. Yeah, I didn't know what, what beans. Like, that's what I first noticed when I came around. Like, I had no idea bro, what beans. And the quality is spilling. so good. Like, I thank was you. Like, Ain't no way. Yeah. Like, did, they did straight up. Inspired. Four K, thirty frames. So, <laughs> so you put IJU. It's just us at the beginning of pretty much every pretty much piece so. of art. Yeah, and it's like. What What's that about? Why Why do that? It's right? like a it's producer just, tag. It's like yeah. It's like rem reminding you. Like, it's just us, like, and then, th like, it kind of warped into really, like, the meaning and, like, the content we were capturing and, like, being able to tell these people's stories from, like, perspectives that people haven't seen before. Like, you know, you see a recap video, like, all the time, but, like, the work, like, if I'm recording a recap video, it's almost like I'm trying to make sure I'm t catching every aspect of whatever we're doing to make sure is like telling a story from start to end like everything leads into something else so like i kind of you know and it's like authentic like there's no like ain't no cutting out no nothing like we just you know putting it out there so for sure so you know you've also done a lot of music videos obviously mm -hmm. right now here on the one more time podcast i want to do an exercise henry you can you can play too uh let's pick your favorite song what's your favorite song ever that's on Damn, repeat that's hard just just pick <laughs> Anyone that could be in rotation at any given time, just, just give me a song. Two Face. Okay, Two Face by J Cole. J Cole. Oh, that's right. Off Friday Night Lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing. Perfect. Let's write a video treatment for that song right now. Have you thought of any music video ideas? Yeah, <laughs> bro. J Cole could hear this. He might go back and do a new video if he didn't already Damn, do one. He put me on the spot. Oh, let's let's think for a video like that. I see, like, a, like I definitely see him like probably telling a story. But like talking to himself, kind of. But he's like two different hymns, kind of. And oh. like the first person is first one. It was him going. He telling that story, and then the other one come back, come back at him and tell. Him the, what about like a split screen? It's like yeah, two hymns like, going on. I don't, like I don't see a split screen. I kind of see a mirror. 
Ooh, kind of Ooh. in the beginning, like yeah. opening it up, and then like kind but of. But something else is going on in the mirror. Mm -hmm. And then, but also mixing in, but like like something I really want to do more of is mixing in the narrative aspect of videos while also keeping the dramatic side of the videos and the the big green screen you know like mixing that all in together like kind of telling a story but from two different perspectives mm. maybe. sounds like you could do movies one day no oh, yeah do you hey, i'm to? working on working on working uh oh on some. Uh oh can we get any uh no uh, we need a one I, more time exclusive uh Little hint. I'm putting my all into it Like what we were just talking about earlier I'm putting my arms, my legs, my head okay. My body, all that Damn Like I'm This is You know Honestly kind of been feeling like You know People are trying to put me in a box Necessarily of You know Videography And Wanting to Oh he did not want to be called a videographer No it's not yeah. even just Not, not wanting to be called a videographer More so like Trying to Show people Like they only give you so much to be able to show them like what you're fully capable of like I'm trying to show people what I'm capable of like you know I've had the chance I've done it like a few times but you know like they kind of try to keep me down in that box of like oh we just need a like quick video like you know like a you know a little running gun little running gun you know, like, outside we outside with classic it. and it's kind of I'm at a point where it's like I'm kind of was trying to be resentful of that but also like I got the opportunity to do what I want to do so like I'm at a point where I'm just I'm putting them all into telling the story I want to tell so is it just me or does everyone look down on music videos like if you're a visual artist no, so I feel like no one that we've talked to we talked to some people that have done videos like you for the highest level of artists I mean mm -hmm. we've had people before you come on that have shot J. Cole videos speaking mm -hmm. of Cole that's hard and they yeah. still seem to like look down upon music videos like, what's that about no, bro? i don't look down upon music videos i look down upon trying not giving artists like artists that you work with the full expression to you know an opportunity to tell you know creative stories and stuff so people want I a like video now they want to drop it next yeah. week. So like microwave videos. Yeah. More so like, like they, if you could bake that shit in the oven. Yeah. If you give me a chance to put this shit in the oven and really, like, you know, just just trust me. Yeah. And let me to like give me a shot to really put my all in. Give me, give me all those opportunities that y'all like, you know, like it's honestly like a, like, you know, those opportunities do come, but it's like a comfortability of like, I don't know. It's like you gotta prove yourself, really. This is really all it comes down to. It's like, but then it's like, at what point or what chance do you get to, you know, do that? I felt yeah. the same Even, way, man. As a as a producer, I've, mm -hmm. I like I've gone back and forth in my head all the time. If I'm like cooking up for an artist or if I'm making beats or something, and people, you know, say like, oh, like that, that's good. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's all it needs to be. And in my head, it's like, well, it could be so much more. Like I could do this. We could flip this that mm -hmm. way. And a big part of me wants to you know, develop it more and make it something that even is, you know, more intricate, something I know I'm capable of. Mm. But I, at the same time, I do think there is an art of being able to just do what's necessary at for that situation, just to be able to move on, you know, and being comfortable with releasing a piece of art and moving on to the next one. You, Cause that's what art is. It's, you could work on a piece of art until you die. Mm. I think there was a quote that's like, you know, art is, it's, it's, it's not finished, it's abandoned. Mm. You never actually finish art. It's just like, yeah. okay, I'm done working on this one. Yeah, and for me, I think the, the struggle probably for y'all too is that the artist oftentimes, of course, is like the star player on mm. the team, right? And so it's tough for you all to necessarily be treated as like the equal partner in the equation sometimes, right? Yeah. Even though you are both equally as important, right? You know, producer uh, and then, you know, visual artist, right? Of helping mm -hmm. tell the story. But at the end of the day, it still feels like the decision-making comes back to like the artist or of course the artist team. And a the lot label. of times, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I will say this, like to get in the position that I got into, like I kind of saw I did what I used to just, I was like, bro, I just need an opportunity to get to that point of being able to produce something on that level. So, you know, I, I started going to behind the scenes shoots. So I'm like, I'm at a young MA shoot. I'm supposed to be acting in a video and I brought my camera. I'm like, shit, I'm about to make something. Like, <laughs> I'm about to do something and make some kind of content. That, like, and I'm going to tag her a hundred times in the video. Like, Did know? that work? No. 
<laughs> Damn, I was about to be like, this is a fire entrance into the industry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no regrets though. You got to take But I shots. kept doing it. Yeah, I yeah. kept. So what was, you know, which was the first time that it worked or that something like that worked? Um, you know what I mean? When did you find yourself in a room with someone you probably shouldn't have been, you know, shooting De video for, Des right? Des Dior and Jada shoot. So Des had a song. Yeah, Des had a song called um, Talk To Me. And we, I honestly, at that time period, I only really knew a lot about, like, I only knew, like, of Jada, like, you know, just from, like, the media and stuff like that. And, you know, I heard of Des, like, you know, I just seen, like, you know, they were famous on social media, so, yeah. you know, you'll see them and stuff. And they had posted something about a music video. I was following this uh, page, um, you know, they'll post music videos and shit. And like we need actors or extras. I'm like shit. We going we going to shoot this. And I had my license suspended. And Ace, my bro Ace, is an IJ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He um he was driving. Like anytime we had to shoot, like he would like you know just pull up and, and I gave him my camera. He'll take pictures and stuff. And we was I was like nah, let's go to this shoot. Like we got to go to this shoot. Like and they had the cars spinning and shit. I'm like I like cars like you know and stuff like that. So we got there. Pretty much was an open shoot. Like we just had free range to do whatever. So, but you showed up thinking you were just gonna be an extra again. No, I came there with my camera. Oh, I was like I'm gonna shoot something. Like, but you just knew but this it was, was for extras. Yeah, but you know, I just put up my camera. So. Oh shit! But we get there. He saw they, a casting call. And he's there, like, got, we got there. I'm got here. To, yeah, we got there. Got straight to shooting. Like, <laughs> ended up like I gave him that um, one of my cameras and. I had my little video camera. That shit it was like a six A sixty three hundred or something. Like some, it was trash. <laughs> did did yeah. the actual video people that were hired to be on the set? Did they look at you like, "What are you fucking oh, yeah, doing?" Yeah, they like especially because I'm hearing this like, no, at those the shoes, fuck off our yeah, set, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I picture a producer coming bro, in like playing beats in my session, like, bro, okay, yeah. calm down, bro. I no, at that <laughs> shoot, they was just like, you know, like they'll be like, "Hey, if you're not." part of the crew like back up you know yelling at everybody like yeah. it's just fuck us up. motherfucker yeah move yeah. out of the way like we just you know I'm like bro I'm catching wherever like I'm you know in the back and then we, we got down to the garage area so this was on the top roof we was getting some shots and then we got into the garage area got up close and personal like I'm like bro in my head I'm like nah I'm about to go crazy on these, bro. Like, uh, like I'm gonna make sure they see these like I'm a, I don't know what I'm gonna do but yeah I'm gonna make sure they see these so by the time the shoot end get yeah. in the car editing the pictures Really? Yeah, because I wasn't driving. Ace was driving. I'm like, bro, I'm finna edit this shit right now, bro. I'm posting shit. Like, I'm Damn, he was shit. pumped. Yeah, bro. I'm yeah. like, I'm doing this shit, bro. I don't yes. care. Uh, I know that feeling and when literally you start I a project. It, you know, I, don't, I posted it. People was fucking with it and shit. They seen that shit like 20 minutes later, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, she saw that shit. She was like, you hard. Like, goddamn, you gotta um, send me these and stuff. She gave me her number. I'm, she gave me her number. I'm like, bro, ain't no way. Damn. Yeah, bro. And then How um, good was the picture? Shit, they were hard. Okay, I'm gonna check them out later. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna check them out. <laughs> for sure. Not, yeah, they were hard though. Like we snap, we were snapping in there, and then um, she did she me. fire the other people that were on set? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, they still work with her. Um, shout out to them. <laughs> but no, yeah. So she ended up hitting us up like a few, like few days after that. I was like, just to come keep to working. This, yeah, come to this music video shooting, like shoot behind the scenes and shit. That's how it goes. Yeah, and then actually like it was with like somebody she was working with a lot. And um you know, we was just there shooting behind the scenes. I was like, damn this shit hard, bro. I was actually nervous as fuck. Like she probably yeah. don't even she probably did know, but niggas was nervous, bro. Like I, I ain't never done no like personal like so I've gone to BTS shoots but I never shot one on one. With somebody for like that, so yeah. But did you feel like a fraud? No. Okay, so you you like felt comfortable enough, even though you were slightly nervous. Like yeah, you I was still... like I was nervous, but I was like, you know, I'm I know I'm cool, like and shit like that. So I don't know, I'd be nervous. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. nervous, like you know, yeah. like, you don't know what people are gonna think. So I'd feel like, yo, I snuck into this shit last week. So mm -hmm. like, <laughs> we am I really allowed to be here this right. week? You yeah. know what I mean? That's a pretty quick like turn of events. And so we took those pictures. Those shits came out hard as fuck too. Posted those ASAP. And I think people were enjoying how fast we move. Like, like once you get into like literally how we got into the industry was you know moving fast. Like, what do you mean by that? Like turnaround, the, baby. turnaround, like they want oh. the turnaround, like the fast turnaround plus the having the quality in the video was just yeah. like, you know, not really heard of. Like, I mean, it probably was, I'm sure, but I don't think nobody was doing that shit like that before we started doing it for real. Like, it was just people seeing the video probably ten to tw eight to twelve hours after the concert. Like, damn, what the? F 
Yeah. Um, I know that feeling when you get super inspired with a project, just yeah. a creative project. Yeah. And you I, have this raw I material. Key, oh, I, dude, he's the worst uh, about uh, that. Bro. We'll shoot some content and he'll literally- I got to go do it right now. He'll yeah. stay up till 6 a.m. Yeah. editing the shit. Yeah. And it's like- Can't do anything else until like I a, see this done. It's like I love photography and videography so much. And it's like being able to get to do it on the, this kind of scale. And then like, you know, enjoying my craft and seeing it like- translate i'm like bro i gotta get this. i want to do this shit. And you almost get addicted to that shit like yeah, yeah. it is an, it's like an yeah, addictive like, feeling yeah like I'm yeah. sacrificing sleep like especially like, when people like are fucking shit. with it yeah people fucking with this shit yeah like, the more the you payoff. do it it's like oh this shit hard bro like he really hard like that's dior's texting you like, to come back to the yeah, video like, shoot you're like, like oh, we start working shit like, yeah like mm -hmm. i'm we locked in like i'm locked in with them forever, forever yeah like, just because of that bro like, that's crazy that i would love you so you mentioned des i would love to hear uh give him you know caleb an opportunity to kind of drop some more names little kind of pop your shit type of segment that ben usually does oh, but brother let's hear some of the people that you worked with let's get that out of the way let's get the clickbait title description nah, nah. shit going I here i mean i ain't gonna it's a lot like it's let's lot. hear it baby let's go I can do it for you if you want. <laughs> yeah, you do it and I'll tell you for I mean, some shit I know, obviously, Lil Baby, Lotto, Moneybag Yo, Dusty Or, yeah. uh, freaking who else? Rilo Rodriguez, Shy yeah. Glizzy. Shy. Shy. Yeah. I mean, Gunna. so many more. Gunna. Gunna. I mean, so many more. I, I literally stopped writing after there was a bunch more. <laughs> so for me, though, shooting for those people obviously has to feel amazing right like you're in the rooms with these you know people i grew up listening to too like yeah that's what, like i don't know that's fun because like i was doing it just because like especially like how i got started i'm like bro i just want to be able to produce and create these crazy videos and projects for these people like on a visual level you know so like how i got in i was like you know i'm gonna just do this like kind of quick video stuff and then like being able to start being able to do that stuff for all these people I used to look like. We used to be in high school listening to Baby and like Gunna, bro. Like, bro, shit crazy. Like, I told him that too. Like, I told Gunna that like one time. Like, yeah, that shit. Like, it's just a, like, I just look at it as a blessing. In it. But also, like, you get so caught up into that, like, you kind of start losing track. Like, I don't know. I, I definitely burned out. Like, yeah. Like, you get to a point where it's like, is it you lose track of why you're doing what you're doing, kind of? Because especially in that kind of environment, the music industry is just so fast paced, and you find yourself on autopilot. Yeah, right. I was on autopilot, bro. For sure, like, just moving like, and yeah. then feeding off of that gratification you get from finishing a project like that and stuff like that. Because I'm actually enjoying it. Like it's not like I'm not doing it genuinely. I genuinely love the art of like creating these videos and like. How but, what's the, to, but what's the goal, right? It's yeah, like, like of how I'm being able to tell these stories and chop it up into one minute. And you saw a story of, of a week in one minute, like, and being able to actually see each detail and stuff. And like, not a lot of people can do that. I can say that for sure. But did it go like to your ego being around mm, big nah. names like that? I, any you can ask anybody that's come up like ever said anything to me. Like I'm like they'll be like, bro, you made it. Like I'm be like, no. Nah. Like I, not, like, I always have in the back of my head, like, I would tell that, say that out loud and be like, nah, I know I got more work to do and I gotta, you know, I'm trying, I know where I'm trying to get to and stuff, but I definitely was, like, I would be lying to say I wasn't letting that, like, fast-paced environment and, you know, being able to create these, like, you know, content and this fast content and stuff, like, as a, like, I wasn't feeding off it. Like, it was definitely when taking a toll, though, for sure. Yeah, did it, did it set this almost like unrealistic bar for you at some points where it's just like, if you weren't around that, did you feel like low? You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. you got to have these highs where you're yeah. like yeah. You're backstage at these concerts. Like you're the fucking man. Like you're shooting these, you know, stars, right? Yeah. You're creating this content for them that people are commenting on like, yo, that's hard. Yo, yeah. that's hard. Like it's and people see that shit and like people that aren't in those positions, like they just see, the work like so they, they, they see just, the product yeah yeah so they just know that they want to be able to do stuff like that but they don't understand like the amount of work and like what you like it really just depends on what you value when it comes down to it like some for some people that probably is like like them being able to be in that kind of environment and just push out and push out like whatever there's somebody's asking of them not really putting in you know any super 
thought provoking or like creative process into it like just being able to produce that stuff and like put it out like that probably that's probably an end goal like for some people like that's and that's not even nothing wrong with that but just for me personally like I know that what I am capable of and like what I want to do with what I know how to do and what I'm learning still learning how to do is like totally like this is not the end goal you don't feel challenged doing some of that stuff yeah. it seems right does it feel more like work yeah it feels more like work then you know and then when i do get like every opportunity to get a music video though like i like we make sure we try to do our best but even with those opportunities like what we got like there's been times where we get opportunities or we for pop out pop out music video Mm -hmm. we got the opportunity and um like we had this big plan and like we we wanted to like you know really shape this video out like from start to finish and they kind of like I think maybe like had a flight or something he had to catch so he, and he pulled up we only had like an hour to shoot like and on tight like we had shit set up and stuff for like multiple like you know looks and stuff like that and they just pulled up like you know we're just gonna do this like kind of like you know we gotta move like not really no time to you know just like not giving me a chance to really like we got the big budget but we didn't even get the chance to really show you it really yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. they like kind of and i think that's that's the work we've been doing for you know for i was doing for them for the longest so it's like you were hoping that was your chance like, yeah i was this like i'm about to show them. big budget but i'm honestly, about to flex like, my you shit look at that video people vote like but it's your heart bro like, they wouldn't know that you shot for an hour <laughs> yeah bro we shot they do I now mean, no yeah. secrets out motherfuckers <laughs> no so look we shot the main big scene like that I wanted for an hour and then you know like the other scenes like we had to just pull up on him with the camera like with Benji yeah oh okay. shout out Benji shout yeah out Benji. my boy Benji man <laughs> yes I just pull up and like just shoot it but like we really wanted to flush that out we didn't yeah get to, but. so so shooting for you know big a list artists like that versus shooting with the likes of our friends surf here in the room right like. Yeah. How do those feel differently? It's definitely a lot more fun shooting with your friends. Right? Yes, you know? That like, I, like I look at like, y'all like that, and that is something that I love that we get to do together, man, where we get to create this content together. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's fucking hard work. Like it's not all, you know, sunshine and rainbows when you and Surf get to shoot a music video. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah, it's we gotta be a, so much have, fun. Yeah, we don't have twelve hour shoots, like just but it's just you with your bro, like you're hanging out, yeah, you're hanging mm-hmm. out, cracking just, jokes. Yeah, bro, we just chilling. But I will say though, like not every shoot, like I will, I will have I have fun on set. Like anytime I'm shooting a music video, it's fun. Like I don't think I've ever not had fun, but definitely it can take a toll over time. But also, yeah, it's definitely more fun working with people you grew up with for sure. And oh then, yeah. But I've also had a lot of fun like working with Gunna. Like you still a Gunna fan? Yes. Okay. He said it. I'm a Gunner fan, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. I don't care. I bro. wanted to ask. Hey, people are R. Kelly fans, bro. Like, people are fans of much. Uh, people are bro, the, all the, sorts of fans of the you know. standard at which people aren't even Gunner fans anymore is just so outrageous. <laughs> yeah. And I don't I even going to go into it too deeply, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't. Even if, okay, y'all like see this on Base Value, you know, me just spin it. Like, nobody really knows, like, what was going on and like yeah. who's like, you know what I'm saying no one's actually heard any behind the scenes conversations yeah, and then even seen if it, anything I mean and then know, a lot I'm of people have nothing anyone, to do but. with it like they just like oh I don't know bro it's just media social media once once the story comes out it's millions of different perspectives being spat out into the world at the same time oh like, god yeah like bro I don't even know like you can't really I don't I don't let the media I don't let what people say on the internet like I'm not going to affect what I like personally. Yeah. Like, bro. Yeah. Gun him, bro. I don't know, man. And we're the last people to speak yo, on we, the street code. Like, yo, we talked about... No, <laughs> no, we no talked code. about... Yeah, uh, I, I can't speak on it either. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, no, we talked about the Tory and Megan uh, trial, right? And how when that news broke... Everyone and their goddamn mother was acting like they were a motherfucking lawyer. Like, yeah. she's she's gu- a lying bitch. He's guilty. Like, you know, she's guilty. Like, Man, Kelsey's at, guilty. Like, you motherfuckers don't know what happened. Everyone's got a fucking opinion, life. man. I mean, yeah. it was, yeah, it was unreal. But he it, probably shot her. Yeah. At the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <She> is, but, <laughs> yeah. So... I feel like, obviously, we mentioned the baby situation. I feel like you've been locked in with QC... Yeah. pretty pretty heavy over the years Facts. right like 
How did Very that really? Yeah, yeah. How did that relationship first start? Um, it. So I met Des. Then I met Jada. Working with Jada and Des, like you know, closely. I met Baby. Like I, I, the first time I met Baby, he was not fucking with me. Like why not? Mm. You know, I don't know. He just was. He didn't. He ain't know me. Type shit. So. You don't fucking but was he like explicitly not fucking with you or nah, just he was just not just moved on with yeah, his life? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But he kind of like warmed up to me like and shit like that. So that was like, you know, and then we start working together. Like he would see me like doing my work with Jada and stuff. And then like he would ask me about what the IJ, you? And, you know, just asking questions and stuff like, you know, who the fuck is this nigga? Like and this nigga just came out of the door and shooting videos. Like, so he was, you know, he was asking me questions and stuff. And then like, you know, I showed him my work here and there. And then I think we were on a Turks and take uh, Turks and Caicos trip. And he was just like, Hey, just film me, you know, Feel me doing this or whatever. You wait, you got to go to Turks and Caicos with baby? Yeah, we was shooting a video, like we was shooting a little video. I'm sure it. that's the ultimate like celebrity destination. Yeah. <laughs> was Drake there? No. Drake's he, always there. He's always there. He's yeah, always at Turks and Caicos, bro. <laughs> but nah, we, um yeah, we just shot a little like visualizer or whatever, and he fucked with it. So ever since then we was locked in, like and it, like he was like, nah, we gotta shoot some shit. And I was doing like little video, like just you know recap videos for a while. But I definitely told him like from jump, like just having a conversation with him, like I, I see myself doing directing, like and producing videos and stuff like that. So he knew what I wanted to do. But you know, yeah, he knew the in that kind goal. of industry. Like you, you know, you can say what you want to do, but people ain't gonna just jump up and give you. you know, like, no, definitely not. Do. They have their own brands at yes. stake, you know what I mean? Yeah, facts. So. But you proved yourself, clearly. Yeah, so I like, had to, you know, I was around them a lot and worked myself up to the point of shooting um, uh, Real As He Gets music video. Yeah. So that was like our first, you know, first chance he gave me. And that video did Did you good. feel the pressure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it was pressure. Like, I had anxiety. For that sure. And shit. Like, <laughs> you know, that was another fast pace. Like, we moving through the city. Like, just, you got to be on no time. No time to set up. Like we set up. Like what's no, going like, on? Like, what's going on? Let's yeah. get this one again. Let's get it. Like no, no, yeah, on. not like not. Let's try to get this again. Like no, you got the shot. Like let's keep it moving. Mm -hmm. like, Did anything go wrong? Um, or was it like smooth sailing? No, nah, like not nothing really went wrong. We had to, he gave us a red camera to use. And, um, he just had an extra. Is that still the, the cream <laughs> of the crop camera these days? Or no, no, no. I heard there's a there's another. New big dog yeah, in town. They got a, yeah. Dog. The Alexas? Yeah, Alexas. But also, there's a few Sonys and stuff doing, like, a okay. few Sony cameras. But, um, yeah, he had a red, but it didn't have a battery. <laughs> so we got the camera, like, and he, oh, was, that's ready, not helpful, he was ready baby. to shoot the music video. <laughs> he was ready to shoot the music video, and then um, they didn't have a battery, and I was just like, we got to shoot it on our cameras, like our regular, you know, our Sonys. And, um, at first, he wasn't going to let me shoot it because, you know, it wasn't on a big camera and stuff. He was like, you know what? I'm going to let you shoot it. If it come out hard, we're going to use it. And then he used Well, it. you're like, you didn't give us the battery, baby. Like, nah, yeah. I you're was, fucking. Nah, he probably. What do you want me to do? He probably just assumed it. I was just like, you know, I just. Yeah, bro. I was. That gave me. Like, I was just like, damn, I done fucked up. That on definitely one sounds like something went wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Like a big thing went wrong. Yeah, bro. He was just like, <laughs> damn, how are we going to shoot a video? Like, hey, everybody. Uh, all his first, all the bros just looking at me like, damn, bro, you done fucked up. He's like, oh, the, the camera needs batteries? Yeah. Shit, bro. <laughs> it's not solar powered? Uh, what do you tell someone who wants to start, you know, shooting videos that says like, oh, I'd be so dope if I only had like a nicer camera? What do you say to them? It's not the camera. What is it? It's the, um, you just gotta, you gotta, it's like, I'm I'm I feel like art is subjective. So like I don't really try to be like somebody works this good or not good and stuff. Like I feel like everybody has a different style for real. It really comes down to you being confident in yourself and your own work and like just doing something that you're gonna enjoy. Don't look at somebody else's work and then say if your work doesn't look like that. Like you're valuing your work next to like something that somebody else like came up with. It just, I don't know, it's hard. It's an unrealistic expectation like you're putting on yourself kind of. Like if you're confident in what you're doing and you know, you're gonna literally naturally just get better kind of. Like you're just gonna find your groove. I don't know. It's something you really can't really explain or put into words. Like You just gotta keep, it's really about consistency and just, just keep doing what you're doing and genuinely do it because you want to. 
Yeah, it's interesting yeah. because I feel like you are right that anyone who's creating art does need to create something. I think that they would, or I think there's a tendency to create something that you would enjoy as well. Mm -hmm. Right. So you make yes. the music that you would maybe want to listen to. Mm -hmm. You shoot the videos that you would want to, or you edit and shoot the videos that you would want to watch. Right. Like we yeah. make the content that, you know, we would also tap into. That's, really and, a good, that's a good question. People should ask themselves, like, what do you want it? Like, right. Yeah. But here's the sad, here's the sad truth that I'm getting at. Right. Uh oh. God, artists that are just delusional with <laughs> like thinking that they're good. And like, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot I of know like, what you, mean. I know you know, what you mean. Where there's a lot of people that are doing stuff, and I question whether they would actually listen to the music that they're making. It's funny because you kind of need a little bit of delusion to make it to that. Yeah, it's top like a tier very two. yeah, he's, you know. It's like, but like, it's about you have to be delusional, low key. Yeah, you do, bro. You do. You do. Some people need because if you're not come back to earth. <laughs> some people, I'll yeah. Tell you. <laughs> but you know, they told Kanye that, Ben, and even they told some, Kanye that. No, and that goes for. <laughs> I mean, shit. Some people, of course, say that about like us with the podcast. So you know, it yeah. is what it is. I know what people it is. say that about. My, I feel like I mean, I ain't never. Nobody's ever said it directly to me necessarily. And maybe I think maybe once I I literally go read the comments and like you know YouTube like that's not a oh uh, yeah yeah like you know people probably just say like no oh, just be all right like I know like artist subjective like, everybody like says like you know Dang, you the best ever like or the best doing that shit like I don't. I know I'm probably not the greatest ever to make video recaps and stuff like that, but I know it's going, it's a one on, like, you're not going to, nobody else is going to do what I just did, like, or how I did it. Like, so I'm confident to know that, like, how I tell my story is how I told it, like, kind of thing. Like, nobody's going to be able to tell it how I told it. Caleb, yeah. we have entered a final segment of the podcast. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. This is about, during Surf's interview, this is about when my wife called me telling me that, uh, she was going into labor, so is that possible to happen yeah, again right crazy. now? Or like no, she called you on the phone? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have my or she called my phone was the one where we were doing we were doing video off of my phone at this point. Damn. So Henry had his phone, and I told her to call the bat phone, which was Henry's phone. She called him like several times, and he had to hand me the phone in the middle of the interview. And yeah, that's crazy. We had stopped yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was just like, Fuck. I think we finished it. No, we yeah, finished it, we just, yeah quickly. I, yeah, yeah. I took a couple questions off of this rampage. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, exactly. But anyways, Henry, where are we at? Hopefully we'll be able to get through the entire one this time. This is the rapid fire rampage. Okay. This will, but this will be a surprise for Surf. Uh, baby number two is on the way. But she's, one like more time only exclusive. Half, she's only halfway through the pregnancy, so she she won't be calling this time. But starting a family. He's cranking them out now, but, for real. I'm about she's to have a baby kid. girl. Yeah. You. About to have a baby girl, so I'm gonna have one each. And vasectomy. So <laughs> And then I'm getting my shit snipped. All right. This is the rabbit fire rampage, no more penis surgery talk. <laughs> Starting with some short answer questions. All right. And we'll move on from there. Here we go. Rampage! Keep it real easy for this first one. What are you doing here? I just wanted to speak out <laughs> some shit. Okay. <laughs> I like it. That's amazing. It's the perfect platform for that. So we're glad you came. He I came to the right. He came to the right place. You guys for having me. Of course. Sure. Glad to have you. I wanted to use like some Chris Hansen. Like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Anyway, more serious question now, Caleb. Three tips that you could give an artist who is trying to shoot all of their own videos. Um. Three tips. One. Make sure that. You know how to do what you're doing so i recommend watching you know youtube videos youtube university yeah youtube university that's what i learned so much you're oh, a yeah. graduate um i recommend getting a camera that get a camera i don't know i feel like you should what camera what's like the best starter whatever you can afford starter camera. Bro, get whatever you can afford like people be like bro just get a camera bro what's <laughs> what's the cheapest one that's better than the iphone like the cheapest camera that's better than the iPhone, though. I would say probably like a A6. I'm really like a so like Sony. Like I feel like Canon. If you don't get a really expensive Canon, it's not going to be a good video. But like a Sony, like A6300. Okay, like we've a, been told that one. Yeah, right. that's yeah. a cheap, good camera that is going to get. That's you. like the go-to. I feel yeah. like. And then yeah, I've heard that one too. 
Number three, actually want to do it. Don't do it. Don't force yourself to do something that like you're not really gonna put your all into. So mm. I would say like just make sure that you really want to shoot your own music videos. Like that's just something you want to do because if it's a way to tell your story better and you feel like know for a fact you're not gonna put your all into doing it, then don't do it. Mm. I like it. I like this, Caleb. What is the closest you've come to dying? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, on the way to college. I was like going back to school, um, and I was tired as fuck. Like it was a six-hour drive to Daytona from Atlanta, and I, um, fell asleep on the road. And uh, I woke up, and I was about to hit the like the median, you know, the left side. Oh, of the shit. Had to swerve back in, and like the car started skirting, and then I like got into some like I finally made it into the grass, and I just hit the brakes and I was just sitting there for a minute. And this couple, old couple, came up. Are you all right? Like they was like they was just like. Looking at me like I was crazy. How'd you respond? I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was sitting there for a few minutes. I was like, yeah. yeah. Wake the fuck. That shit woke me the fuck up. So, yeah, we're yeah. glad to have you today. Yeah, that was yeah. That's probably. I think of, that sounds pretty close. Yeah, it was pretty fucking close. I was like, yeah. I thought it was toast. That old couple almost <laughs> killed you. I thought I was toast. And the median. Your biggest pet peeve on a video set. Waiting for our artists. Like Damn. waiting, that's, yeah, and that's uh, our biggest pet peeve on a no, podcast. Set. Worst, yeah, really, that, it's really just that because like we'll be ready and then they're not, waiting. yeah, yeah, waiting, nice. waiting, just waiting, yeah, <laughs> waiting, yeah, waiting for sure. That's gotta be annoying. Last one of the short answer. What is your favorite curse word? Fuck. Part one. <laughs> the correct F word. Part one. <laughs> <laughs> Part two, one, part two is the this or that. I'm going to give you two choices. You pick your favorite one. Okay. Simple as that. Starting with rapping or singing. Rapping. Fish eye or night vision. Night vision. Waterproof camera or drone. Mm. Drone. Give up your passport or give up smartphones. S smartphones. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> Live until 125 years old, guaranteed, or a million in your bank account right now. A million in my bank account right now. Can't buy time, but moving on. Yeah. Oh. How sad would it be if you died the next day? <laughs> you right. got the milli. You leave it. Die the next I don't know day. if I would want to live. You said 125. Yeah. That's a long time. I don't want to be like. Yeah. I mean, then again, if you're healthy, like you know, you can get to that old and still be good. But yeah. Definitely. We'll let the people decide if that was a good answer. Yeah. yeah. Third nipple or four extra toes? Hmm. Assuming you have two right now. <laughs> four, four like extra toes. Okay. And assuming you have 10 toes, yeah. Yeah. Well, four extra, no matter how many. <laughs> anyway. True, true, true. Actually, no, I take third nipple. Because I feel like four toes is just a lot, bro. Like, there's already man, kind of a lot. Extra toes, yeah. Kind of already. Why do I need already extra a lot toes? of toes? You're gonna look crazy down there. Yeah, bro. And then I'm gonna have to change all my shoes. Like the nipple can just be on my chest. In the middle, yeah. like symmetrical. Yeah. It's a lot less it. impactful yeah. to yeah. your daily life. Yeah. Your full internet history released to the public, or your full texting history released to the public. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> this just gave me anxiety for you. Yeah, turn it on. <laughs> uh, history. Internet history. Internet history? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. yeah. I think I'd do the same. So you're texting nudes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I figured. Speaking of nudes, the last one of the this or that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shooting exclusively porn or never make another video. Never make another video. Oh, Part two. Oh, man. He said, yeah, I'll bro. find another industry. Yeah. I'd love to get in the adult uh, film industry. <laughs> I was, you said no more video. I'm going to just go back to photography. There you go. Ooh, I didn't, that was yeah, a loophole. didn't stipulate. Yeah, Damn smart, it, Henry. Man. He's smart. He's smart. Damn it, Henry. Last one is the word association. Caleb, I'm going to give you one word. You give me the first word right back off the top of your head. All right. Here we go. Starting, as always. I don't know why I'm looking at that camera. That's not, <laughs> the camera's not on me. Can't see you. With. That one can. Hip hop. Kanye. Broccoli. Green. Grandma. 
My grandma. Caffeine. Coffee. Content. Important. Treasure. Life. Flamingo. Pink. Lil. Uzi. <laughs> Just got fired by baby. President. <laughs> Obama. Bitcoin. Um, a scam. Only fans. Crazy. Podcast. Fa. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, it's was just up? us. Oh. I was set you up. <laughs> you put it in every video. Yeah. But you couldn't couldn't I yeah. take the alley oop. I threw it off the glass. He, he teed it up. <laughs> he did tee it up. He handed it on a silver platter. <laughs> he fucking dangled it in right in front, right in front of your face. It is. Until next week, Henry, what are we doing? We're getting, it out time. We're getting the fuck out of here. Peace. Yeah. Party shit like one more time. Hey, party one more time. Party shit like one more time. Hey, party one more time. Oh.